Um, why why would a guy not be interested in dating somebody who does the kind of work that we do if they okay, let's say you meet a girl and you do you genuinely like her, her personality, and then you find out that she does that and then maybe she doesn't meet the stereotype that you've given that a girl to be in that kind of career, like would you still just call it off because of what she does or would you be interested in to like I have a second card. I don't it's know. Gonna, have, it's, have a second I, thought. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to it's going to vary from guy to guy. Like I know that there's definitely guys that wouldn't care that much. Uh, there's some guys that actually push their women into doing like online sex work and whatnot. I can only speak for me personally. Like if I was talking to a girl and I found out she did that, it would be very I wouldn't be able to stomach it because like I was telling her, like I'm, I'm a very territorial man when it comes to my like, I don't want to share my woman with anyone. You know, like I don't, I don't want guys knowing what her body looks like in terms of like what she looks like underneath her clothes, what she looks like naked, anything like that. Like I want that to be reserved for me and me alone. And I want that to be a special thing that we share with one another. That's one aspect of the psychology. The other aspect of it is I don't want my kid's mother all, I don't want her body all over the internet. You know, I don't want my kids to have to potentially deal with that someday because I read stories about kids who do get bullied at school for it and they end up killing themselves. And it's, it's just there's way too many liabilities there for me personally to deal with. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I mean. I also have a question for you guys. Wait, hold on. Go yeah, ahead. it's just oh, sorry. It's just not right. Um, she's going to be pulling me in the other direction. I'm trying to serve Christ. I'm trying to serve God, and she's running the complete opposite direction. He brought up the equally yoked phrase earlier. He's talking about that yoked. He's talking about a yoke. You know how uh, oxen are yoked together with this bar that goes across their neck. Well, unequally yoked would be two separate animals barred together. It just doesn't make sense to plow grain with two separate animals. That's what it's like uh, being a believer with an unbeliever. It's two separate species, essentially. It just does not make sense for me as a believer to be with an unbeliever. Yeah. To bring it back to how I answered your question, too, does, does my explanation about the territorialness and not wanting to share a woman make sense? Oh, absolutely. Do you yeah. feel like that's fair and that's, justified? I think that's fair. I think... Unfair. Sounds like somebody's <laughs> hit a car. Yeah, people drive by and try to make noises because they know the show's going on. No oh. way. Yeah, happens okay. all the time. People will wait for the show to start and then they'll like rev their engine down below. Wow. That's yeah. hella funny. But is, so that makes sense to you? No, it totally makes sense. And that's why I kind of just wrote off that I would even find somebody that and be in anything serious until I was done doing it. And not because I think that that's necessarily right. I've just accepted just accepted that i think you i mean you might find a guy who has tolerance for it i don't know i have a lot of um fans for i guess that say that they would like to date me knowing what i do but then once they're with me would want me to quit and i think that that's kind of hypocritical it's like wait you found me like like this and now you want it to like I just I think it's I think you, it's a you king. might feel I it's, think it's, you might feel it's hypocritical but I would argue it's actually a good impulse it's a protective impulse that a man has towards his woman right wait what did I miss what what like, is hypocritical she, she was saying that guys will tell her her fans will tell her from from online that they they want to date her but once they have her they would want her to stop her online sex and, work and then they have I, I have a lot of like breeding like they want to like put a baby in. like i get a lot of that where they want they're like oh i want you to have my baby i want you to have my baby like Trying so they want yeah they want to like take it off the market does that make sense okay it's just it's just weird to me that you found me in this website and now you're trying to take it out well, of the game let me ask you this what man would want his woman still on the market well, if she's no, his that's woman. fair. A pimp. That's, what? A pimp. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's yeah, fair. True. But I don't technically, like, I don't see, because I'm not dating those people. Does that right. make sense? Like, right. I'm not dating the people that are coming into my chat rooms, and I'm not dating those people. Those are not the clientele, for lack of another term. Like, that's mm. not, those are not my possible suitors. Yeah. Well, I just I, think it's interesting that perhaps, they. Well, perhaps one way to address the whole hip, hypocrisy thing is, Prior to dating, he had no problem with you engaging in what he considered single behavior. Mm -hmm. But once they started dating, he wanted her or you 
to act in a way that okay. he thought was consistent with being in the relationship. So, for example, I mean, we a guy might, if you're single, we might not necessarily object to you going to bars, clubs, partying, posting provocative photos, but if we're in a relationship with you, uh, if a, a guy might want to rein in some of those behaviors that are kind of, you're Single still advertising. Like, understood. Yeah, then that behavior. makes sense. That makes sense. No, like, totally. I, I get it. Point. Women go to the bars and nightclubs, but if you're going to, if you want commitment from me, you can't go to the bar and club. Also, building off what he said, again, uh, that carnal, like, need and desire for sex that guys have programmed into them, like, of course, off the bat, that's going to make them really attracted to women in that line of work. They're like, great, sex. Like, I can right. get sex all the time. But I think what he's saying, like, it's a good thing when he starts to feel that way because he's starting to see you as something more, more. than just that. When he cares about you, that's when he's going to want to start putting those restrictions into place. So that makes sense. it's honestly a good thing. I, I, I would also, it's funny, too, how this conversation has gone. I would also add that protectiveness, if you were to comply with that and be yeah. like, yeah, I'll take my... Like, that's what a guy who's going to want to commit to you yeah. is going to want from you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I think if he's a good guy and he's asking for that and, and your, you, your career is that, so you, you live off of it, that if he's a good guy and that's what you guys want to do in the next part of your relationship, he will help guide you and figure out how you can do that transition so you don't have to lose everything and suffer. 100%. Mm -hmm. that's, that's good leadership mm -hmm. right there. Here's one of the things things though that I think a lot of women who are involved in sex work or stripping or doing OnlyFans uh, or just traditional adult content is they make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So for, it, I think what there's that one chick is, that made like 70 grand a month. Oh, we we've had a lot of girls on the show there. Oh, there's more. Make yeah. six figures a month. And yeah. so I, I think the attitude, at, at least from what I've interviewed from tons of these girls that have come on the show is, well, I would stop if they were to continue if they were really rich guys who could provide you the same lifestyle. quality maintain of life. Maintain the lifestyle, yeah. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. maintain mm -hmm. the lifestyle. But that's such a small portion of men that can make so that, that m amount of money. And so it's like... That's intimidating to guys in and of itself, mm -hmm. making that kind of money. I don't I know. I don't find it intimidating if a Not to all guys, but to some guys, it's intimidating for, like, for the female Or just to a turn off. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't find it attractive if a, if woman, a woman makes a ton, ton of money. Yeah. But like, think about what it could do for your dynasty, Chase. Like, and assuming it's not from yeah, sex. Think, oh, think oh, about oh. it. Think <laughs> about what it could do to your relationship dynamic. If your woman's making twenty times more money than you are, like, bro, she's That's wearing, my she's wearing the pants. That's my money now. <laughs> I guess uh, that that screws up the power dynamic a mm -hmm. lot. Like, I'm not interested in that. To personally. that point, the other day when people asked me what I was looking for in a man, and I said like I want someone to earn you know more money than me, and I named that figure, like a lot of people were like, oh, like hypergamous she's only after the money but it's literally based off what you said i know that if i'm not with a man who's going to make more money than me it's going to completely switch the dynamics in the relationship oh yeah what if she's just super submissive chase but she just but she's a bola but super I don't submissive. Know, she's got some investments or some shit you know what i mean i mean i mean dude like the the there's definitely a way to make it work. She like, got some fucking Doge she got coin. Like if, if, so, if, she comes to you, if she comes to you and she's like, hey, I'm like really rich, but I want to put you in charge of the money. It's like, okay, well, that's that's a different story. It's a lot you know? of trust. Yeah. That's Let's go. Not a prenup. 